Thank you to Carbo Fing Pfeffer, who's helping out on the um, live stream today. Very much appreciated. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, yes. Hey, hi, guys. How you doing? Good. What's up, Joe? I got a, I got a little bit of cat story for Mary. Oh, and boy. Tora. She, she sounds pretty cool. And uh, back in 1985, when we got married, we lived in a, um, a trailer park outside of Chardon, Ohio, where she just went and visited the Maple Festival for the first time. Mm-hmm. And that, those maple stirs, I guess, are really good. But so anyhow, good. a cat story I had was a... Uh, a cat we had, it showed up on our porch one day when I lived in a trailer park, and so we took it in. Okay, the cat was really cool and nice, long hair, black and beautiful cat. And um, one night when we were sitting there, sitting there watching a movie on TV, the cat was sitting on top of the uh, back of our couch, which is a very comfy couch, and I had my arm around my wife, and we were sitting there watching it, and all of a sudden... This thing started choking up a hairball the size of a T U R D huge <laughs> size of a grumpy on my arm. And on your arm. Then uh, yeah. Yeah, it, I had my arm around my wife and it was you know, we we're sitting there just cozy and comfy. And after that, I'm a dog lover and um, we had a dog too, but it was really cool with that cat. And uh, ever since then, we had to put the cat outside and maybe make sure it got on its merry way and see if anybody wanted it or anything. Yeah, I I don't know why anybody takes in a stray cat. I understand people are like inveterate animal lovers, and I like animals too, but I mean, you got to do a cost-benefit analysis on this stuff. Yes, but of course, and that's what I did too. I said, I don't know. I, I was questioning it because I grew up with cats and chickens and and all rabbits, you know, tamed rabbits and stuff like that. You ever taken so, in any uh, stray uh, chickens? No. <laughs> Harder to catch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, thank you. There's Joe out in Orwell. Thank you, Joe. Sorry for your loss. Hey, Greg. Yes. What's going on, Greg? How y'all doing? Uh, I have a solution for your cat. Is, Ready. Um, Good pun. Well, for the free future... It's called a combing collar. You get it at the pet store. It's for like twenty bucks. It lasts for like anywhere between six to seven months. But what does it do? On the cat. Calming collar. Oh, a calming. I thought you said combing. Out. A calming collar. Gotcha. Yeah, calming collar. Yes. And then the solution for the for the urine right now is get is one gallon of water, put in a milk a milk jug, a one gallon milk jug. We'll put half of it in there. Put two cups of vinegar, one cup of Dawn dish. This detergent and one cup of baking soda. Okay. Put it inside, swish it around, fill the rest of it with water. You know, don't don't shake it because you want. Well, it's a good thing you're good at math, Mary, because boy, there's a lot of it in here. And thank you, Greg. I appreciate yeah, I tried uh, that. And I couldn't taste any cat pee. Yeah. <laughs> the input. After I drank some of that, your nostrils were clear. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I looked up every way to get rid of cat cat pee smell, and I just ended up going with. I mean, I had baking soda at home. I used everything I had at home and then went out and bought more stuff. So, uh, Here's a message off of the talkback button uh, on the iHeartRadio app. Mary, I got to say, normally I'm on your side with a lot of stuff, but lately uh, I don't know what's going on. You're, you're, you're losing it. Uh-oh. Uh, your cat, you lost this guy. End of conversation. That thing's got to go. See ya. Oh, that thing's got to go. I'm not getting rid of my cat. Yeah, That's... Alan, tell Mary you can go to the pet store and buy urine out. It'll take that cat piss smell out of there. Um, yeah, she wants to keep her boy. Urine out. Go and get some urine out. I got so many different sprays or whatever. But... I mean, we have our dog on, like, Doggy Prozac. It's called Fluoxetine, I believe is what it's called. I have a feeling and... that's what they're going to so give So if she's me. got, like, if your cat is, like, nervous, that might help. She's a nervous animal to begin with. She's always been very skittish. Like, I was dating my boyfriend for over six months before she even came out when he was around. Like, she will hide under the couch. Now she feels super comfortable and she's peeing and puking. And and (sighs) Well, my boyfriend's daughter tattled on him when we got back to the house on on Sunday when they picked me up from the airport. She's like, I need to talk to you in my room. And I said, okay, is everything okay? She goes, yeah, daddy's not allowed. And we get in the room and she goes... She's already ratting out her dad to future mommy. She said, we got... Wow, (laughs) Bill, this kid. (laughs) 
Let's well, put future mommy on. Oh, God. Right now. <laughs> Depending on the cat this status. Is, this is roommate right now. She Poor was like, Brian, this, this guy is an uphill battle. She was like, yesterday, Daddy put my me in my room and he yelled at the cat. I was like, yeah? She goes, yeah, he yelled pretty loud. I was scared. She was probably scared, too. And I was like, okay. And I asked him about it. I said, did you scream at the cat? And he goes, yeah, what do you want me to do? I was like, well, what do you think she's going to do? She's going to pee on your stuff if you yell at her. Cats aren't like dogs. They don't feel shame and guilt. They're going to get pissed at you and retaliate. Hmm. Well, my dog is a good Christian because of that. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> what a perfect she animal is. to have petty animal in your house that they will are. Re- retaliate are petty. against they you. Are. I'm still looking for upside. I know it's for people, uh, lazy people who don't want to actually do anything with a pet. We were reading this uh, book because my, my daughter is obsessed with cats, and I've made it very, very clear. There will be no cats in our house. Mm-hmm. But she's always pretending she's a cat, and she loves cats, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So uh, the, the compromise is we get a lot of library books for her about cats mm-hmm. and about how cuddly they are, and they'll lay on your lap and all this stuff. And I'm like, the moral of the story is that cats are pets for people who don't want to do anything that's not with an it. animal. They want something that's like that's like breathing furniture. And, you know, you don't no, have to walk it. You don't have to. We play. We hang out. We cuddle. We do all that stuff when you I'm You play. Home. They lay there. No, she plays and, and with me. paw in the air. <laughs> that's how cats play. Is well, they paw that's what I'm saying. Air. Chase a string. Here's a text. Mary, stand your ground. I once made the decision to choose some man over my loving cat that I had for years. She had to stay alone in a bedroom at my parents for months because I made the wrong, all caps, decision. <laughs> No, I'm not getting rid of You and the cat are a package deal. Humans have time to adjust. I will regret that decision until I die. I hope God forgives me. Wow. That, well, at least you're not being there. dramatic he about won't. it. He won't. No, he won't. <laughs> That's where he draws the line. That's right. I hope <laughs> the invisible man in the sky, mm-hmm. yeah, he couldn't care less what happened between you That's and the cat. That's the one Jesus said, I am not, I'm dying for your sins, not your, you and your cat sins. That's your cat. <laughs> Do all cats go to heaven? No. They don't even get it choice they're not i mean they were worshipped in ancient egypt so they might be oh, yes, yeah right Sarah. those are heathens and that's right people who thought the sun know, could eat about, them uh egyptians but uh not the favorite of the chosen people i know that you are gone a lot and so it might be uh, prohibitive could you board your cat I, and here's the thing that i'm going to talk to the vet about is that she is just so awful when she travels like to put her in any kind of a carrying case and like when I move and I she have her in the case she screams and she pees in it and she gets mad and she's like all aggravated and then she doesn't come out for three days and won't eat and it's cause I was like maybe I can get her as one of those like emotional support animals and spiteful. I can just take her with me but I'm like there's no way I can't put her in her crate without her screaming and pitching a fit for five minutes at a time is there See, any chance so is there any chance the daughter did it and is blaming the cat no, it smelled like heavy. Unless her, <laughs> there's something seriously wrong with her digestive system. There's a lot of ammonia in there, and I can't figure it out. I was reading about this woman who spent thousands at the vet because her husband was blaming his farts on the dog and wasn't telling the wife. Oh, no. <laughs> so she takes the dog to the vet. This is a woman who was pregnant, and so her senses are heightened, obviously. Yeah. So she smells all these rancid, rancid farts. And is taking the dog to the vet and spending all this money trying to find out. Because the husband's like, this dog's farting all the time. It was the husband farting. Oh, I'd be so mad. And she took their dog, Jerry. Uh, five weeks, uh, the guy uh, uh, blamed the dog. And she's going back and forth to the vet. Um, a month ago, my husband, the dog, and I were eating dinner when I suddenly smelled something very disgusting. My husband instantly made a face so i knew it wasn't just me see that's the move oh what you is go, that oh my god oh, oh jerry go to your what room oh go to your bed i'm pregnant and so my sense of smell is heightened later in bed my husband told me that the dog had been farting a lot it smelled like rotten eggs um the dog doesn't usually fart and so she uh, took him repeatedly to the vet. You think the guy would come clean after one vet visit. Right. That ain't cheap. But then he maybe he felt embarrassed. Just a vet just, visit isn't cheap. Well, yeah. My my deposit for tomorrow to take her in was 70 bucks. They're like, you know, just in case you don't show up. I'm like, all right, well. The vet was extremely confused, orders a bunch of tests that cost us a lot of money. All in all, the tests show that the dog was fine. And so I'm losing my mind. And uh, after five weeks, her husband confessed 
that they had been his farts all along. <laughs> wow. She kicked him out briefly, went to stay with his friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd be pissed. Mm. Oh, no, I don't have to be in the house with my pregnant wife. Um, his mother, who usually thinks the sun shines out of his ass, this woman <laughs> says, is on my side as well. Call this son an idiot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> again, why not cop, you know, our own Bill Squire says, money too. you got to fart your farts. That's what I'm saying. After one vet visit, yeah. you go, oh, it was me, honey. You fart your farts, but you also own the farts. You got to own them. You got to own them. You can't be blaming them on the dog. She said that it was cruel to the dog because all those blood draws. Yeah. For uh, oh, the yeah, vet so hard trying to, draw to figure anything out. with those paws, <laughs> there are blood? yeah, <laughs> there's no. It's hard. You got to duct tape the marker mm-hmm. into their paw, and it's not fun. It's not entertaining to watch. Hey, Danny. Yeah, what's up? What's going on, man? Not that it's, I got to go in for Mary. Uh, I'm not a big camp person myself, but we have two of them, you know, for the kids and the wife. Well, come time to take the uh, cats to the vet. And the one cat goes in the carrier, no problem. The other one was not having it. It was like it was like Tom trying, you know, from Tom and Jerry trying to be put down a well, and all that set with the uh, paws out. Well, this cat had enough and actually expressed its anal glands all over my wife. What? Well, this, my wife you're on was so mad. It stunk so bad. It was horrible. I mean, like. My wife was calling her a little, you know, biatch and everything like that, like like she was fighting with another woman. Oh, dude, Funniest yeah. thing I ever seen though when that when that went off. <laughs> Cats are petty. Cats are petty, man. Petty. They are. Pound cake's getting jealous. Pound cake is a cat. He's my chief petty <laughs> officer. I, I'm not a cat guy, man. I I am I am a dog person, but dogs are too much maintenance, so I'm just a no pet person. Like I I would love if I have my house, if I have my white house with my white man and a picket fence. I will definitely have a dog, but cats just—they never liked me. Cats just don't like me because they know. Because you're you're jittery. I'm just as petty and just as jittery. <laughs> yeah. they, they hop on me. I'm like, ah, don't you stick your claws into me? And then they always do. And then I have to shake them. I don't know. You're supposed to shake a cat, but I shake them. No, not hmm. so. Yeah, my 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 brother, this little evil cat, this evil little bitch. We call her Kitty. Um, and we had to get her into a crate one time, and putting her in she dug her claws into me so then when she was in the crate i just yelled at her <laughs> I just, hmm. ah you ain't so tough now are you <laughs> ain't so tough ah, now who's in the cage yeah i have a very strange feeling that if it was her boyfriend's cat pissing all over the new couch or the couch in general or anything that she would make him get rid of the cat and wouldn't take no i'm not getting rid of the cat for an answer. That seems unlikely. No. You're you're no. very pro cat. Right. Yeah. I no, no, but she's saying like if the roles were reversed cuz he's He's the, not a, a pet person at all. He's too clean to have pets. And Oh, he so, doesn't even have a dog. No. no. Did he ever? Uh his parents had a dog, yeah. But I see. like he has never had a pet. And so um and I know that. I knew that coming into it, but I was like I, mean, I don't know. I would never ask someone to get rid of something they've had for 8 years. If he had a dog or a cat or whatever. Unless it was physically harming someone. If it's biting and clawing, that's different. Right. Well, we'll see where this all leads. Well, tomorrow's the vet <laughs> visit, so after tomorrow we'll have more information. But hmm. And I feel bad for her, where I'm like, I don't want to have a drugged up cat. Oh, her... she'll be fine. She'll just be laying around. <laughs> yeah, she... <laughs> Listen, she's going to love the drugs. <laughs> that's what I have a feeling they're going to do, is that they're going to give me some kind of an anti-anxiety medication. Mm-hmm. or Unless she does have a UTI, but we'll see. But... I'm like, man, do I'm gonna have a little drug addict, zannied out cat? <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. I bet she's more loving and playful. Or she'd just lay around. What's wrong with like that? Like she's a pothead. Who cares? <laughs> Snacking and sleeping. <laughs> she's That's like, whoa, it. my paws are huge. <laughs> whoa, what are you saying? She's like kneading in the air, just staring at her fingers. Hmm. <laughs> You gonna play this when you go to the vet? <laughs> yeah, right. In the car on the way over. Hmm. Unfortunately, now we know why Marilyn Manson liked drugs so much. He's out there pulling a Cosby. Right. Hmm. Naomi Judd died. I know. You know who yeah. Naomi Judd is? I know uh, Mary knows. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize until they kind of the story made it out there. Um. Naomi Judd and Winona Judd, her daughter, went out as the Judds. And, of course, Ashley Judd went a different way, and she was an actress. Um, But back in the day, 
they both look so good that people, I think, initially thought that Winona and Naomi were sisters. And uh, they had to make it clear that um, Naomi Judd was the mom. Uh, they said that she she lost to the disease of mental illness, which I didn't realize what that meant. She I committed she, suicide. I was going to say, I think Ooh. she offed herself. Yeah, Naomi Judd committed suicide on Saturday at age 76. Imagine getting to 76 and going, I'm done, I'm out. Um, Did it, it didn't say how, though. I couldn't find it. It like, didn't say yeah. how, no. But it was a day before she was getting inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. And I think they were going to postpone it. And Winona and Ashley Judd were like, no, no, do it. We'll come. Um, They're supposed to go on tour later. So, the yeah, yeah. One day before um, uh, she died. My mama loved you so much. And she appreciated your love for her. Boy, Ashley Judd looks very different than she used to. Work done? Yeah. 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 And I'm sorry that she couldn't hang on until today. Your esteem for her and your regard for her really penetrated her heart. And it was your affection for her that did keep her going in these last years. And while this is so much about the Judds as a duo, I want to take a moment to recognize my sister, a goat. You know what that means? I didn't prepare anything tonight because I knew mom would probably talk the most. <laughs> I'm going to make this fast because my heart's broken. I feel so blessed and it's a very strange dynamic to be this broken and this blessed. Do you think that Ashley lost her accent because she wanted to be an actress? You think it's, that's what they're from Kentucky? So like Winona, you know, whereas yeah. the mom, the Judds probably overplayed the accent. Probably. Ashley probably, right, wanted a kind of Less more regionally neutral voice. Sure, she could dip into it when she needed to, but yeah, so that's pretty wild. 76 and you, you have go, to be so unhappy. I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, because she was married to the same guy for a long, long time. But then they have to go up there like the next day. Yeah, they I'm got... surprised they went. Well, again, the Country Music Hall of Fame, I think, was saying like, well, we don't, let's postpone it or something. And they were like, no, 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 we'll come and speak. Uh, the judge stopped performing about 30 years ago after Naomi got hepatitis C. And that's when Winona, uh, Winona, began a solo career. But they would kind of go back. I think they were set to tour again. Mm-hmm. Is that what you said? They were going to put yeah, out an album year. or something? Yeah. Sad, man. Right. Um, Winona Judd's real name is Christina Simonella. And she was born out of wedlock. <laughs> so, you know, uh, uh, those two went out and... <laughs> I don't know why I think that's funny. It's not. Weren't we <laughs> all born out of wedlock? No, we weren't, Pound Cake. I was. What does that have to do with it? That becomes weren't we all? Well, she shouldn't feel so bad. It shouldn't be such a bad thing. Well, that's she doesn't feel bad, but I mean, you know. Maybe that was a part of the reason why. I was no, born I out of wedlock. I, I, don't, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think yeah. she was 76. Factor, yeah. It's like, yeah, she got pregnant at 18. I don't, that's why they, everybody thought they were sisters for a while. She was only 18 years older than her kid. They reunited uh, at the Super Bowl halftime show in um, 1993. That was Cowboys Bills. Of course, the Cowboys beat the Bills. Oh, poor Bills. <laughs> poor Bills. <laughs> we need um, another country halftime show. Well, when was the last one? Didn't, didn't they just have one a couple of years no, ago? Not a country one. Not, not a country one? I haven't done a country one in a long if they time. Had, if they no. had a Carrie Underwood, a Luke Bryan, and like... Uh, uh, Tim McGraw, something like that, it would bring down the house. Oh, yeah. Carrie but, Underwood was up there singing with Axl Rose. They'd do that stagecoach festival. And I guess it's like, it was like a really good show. Carrie and Underwood's awesome. She's got these legs, boy. Her legs, her legs went viral incredible. a couple of weeks ago because she looks like a, a power lifter. Yeah, her legs are awesome. But she's awesome. up there with Axl Rose singing. Woo! Like Give her a halftime show, man. This is basically, as soon as a Coachella wraps up, they get going on this stagecoach festival. It's the same spot. Is she 
I'm going to break your car or, or Jesus is driving. Both. She's both. <laughs> okay. She's both of them. Before I mean, you're thinking che- of, yeah. before he who's, cheats who's and Kelly Clarkson? Jesus take the wheel. She was the very Jesus. first. What, what, but Kelly Clarkson, what was her? Since you've been so gone. gone. Okay, there you yeah. go. All right. You know, Carrie Underwood mops the floor with Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. Kelly no, Clarkson's I, I, doing a talk I'm show. I'm just saying yeah. that they all like mixed together for me. Mm-hmm. I didn't know who was who, but. Well, Kelly Clarkson's not a country artist. Well, she was for a little bit. She did. I thought she was. She, not, not really. She married uh, Reba McIntyre's son. Yeah, but she's more of a pop artist than a country artist. Right, well, she is, but a lot of people but, do but, cross. Uh, but you can understand why, like, th- 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 it's all kind of poppy. Yes. Yeah. In that, yeah, like, um, but they both and, came if from you don't American ever Idol. Listen right? to it like me, right? They I both came know. from American yeah. Idol. Yeah, but yeah. Oh. So she wrote that song about Jesus driving and. Uh, I'm going to break your car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not very Christ-like to treat your car like someone else's car. And she has a song called Blown Away, which is my favorite. That's your favorite Carrie Underwood song? Yes! Blown Away? It's okay. Is that about... uh, No. It's about about, (laughs) about an abusive father. (laughs) 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 I've got to take a break. If uh, you want to text for anything, 35192, alancockshow.com if you want to watch. And another chance to grab some money, another $1,000. Keyword coming up at 3.30 for you to go fund yourself. This is the Alan 